Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, I hope you consider subscribing, liking my video, sharing wherever you can to where I can continue bringing you content every Wednesday and Friday. Today, it is a video on uh, my Ulta haul. I got everything on my face from Ulta. I will tell you how much it costs, exactly what it is. I show you in the video. So if you would like to see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. All right, we're gonna start off with the Smashbox Photo Finish Minimized Pores Primer. You just need a little bit, it goes a long way. You can see my skin is coming off. Do not let your face get burnt when you're out in the sun. Use SPF. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. Oh, the primer was $36, and all of these items are coming from Ulta. The foundation's $12, but I got it on sale um, two for $14, so that was a pretty good deal, but I got this shade and a lighter shade, and obviously you can see that it is not my shade. Even without the sunburn, this is not my shade. I don't know what they were thinking, putting um, light beige on this color. In the description of the color, it says that it's like a light beige. That's what I normally use, and that is not light beige. I do look like a ghost. You're right. Disclaimer, it is raining and thundering. Sophie is talking. Bentley's playing his game. So there might be a lot of <laughs> background noise, but we're going to get through it. I had to skip to the next frame where I had put on a little bit of cream contour to blend it in because I seriously looked like a ghost. Um, now I'm going to use my tried and true Morphe foundation, foundation, Morphe concealer. And um, I put this in there, even though I always use it, I put it in there um, because that is where I get it. I get it from Ulta. So I started off using that brush and then I grabbed my beauty blender and yes, it is dirty, but that brush was just not cutting it and you, it was lifting all those pieces of skin off my face and I am so aware that it looks disgusting but I still think the makeup turned out pretty good um, the concealer is ten dollars if you get it at Ulta but if you order it off Morphe it's eight dollars but you have to pay shipping and tax so um, it's probably comes out to the same amount of money it's about ten dollars Um, and again, all the brushes that I use are from Morphe. I used to have some BH Cosmetics brushes, but I don't think I use any of those anymore. I think I gave them all to my mom. So, um, this is the Derma Blend Powder, Translucent Setting Powder. I'm not really a fan of this powder because it's a silicone powder and it'll give you a flashback, just like, um, that other L'Oreal Infallible. Any kind of silicone powder is going to give you flashback and I just didn't like the way it felt I didn't like that it I mean it it did it does what it says it is translucent but I don't know I just like my Cody airspun I think I'm probably just set in my ways <laughs> oh gosh that powder is $29 by the way so the Hula Light is what I use on my nose, and that is $30 for the big one. I think it's like $17 for the smaller, $20, something like that. Um, and then I'm using a new one, and it's the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Matte Bronzer, and it is also $30. And it smells so good. It smells just like chocolate. Um, and then I'm just brushing away all the powder with that same brush to kind of blend in the colors. There's so many colors going on on my face right now between my um, powder being a weird color, the foundation being awful. I would not recommend that foundation even if it was my skin tone. That brush just kept making my forehead even worse. From far away, I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Then I'm going to go in with my fluffy eyeshadow brush. And again, it pulled the foundation off my nose, made it look red again. It never does that unless I'm sunburned, but you can see it's just, I look ridiculous. But hey, 
If you can make fun of yourself, then you can laugh and you'll be fine. Then I'm going in with the California blush from Benefit. The one that I'm using is the mini one, which is $17, but the bigger one that's the same size as the Hoola that I use is also $30. I love that Benefit has a lot of their stuff in minis to where if you want to try it out, you can um, you can get the mini one and, and you don't have to spend a fortune. So then I'm going to use my Morphe and... Oops, it's not here. My Morphe and Manny MUA palette, just the highlighter shade. Um, and that palette was $20, and I did get that at Ulta. Oh, my goodness. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing my eyebrows and how to find your eyebrow shape. So I'm going to start out beside my nose, going up to the front of my eyebrow, and I'm going to make a little dash. I put this in slow motion so you could go along with me. Then you go to the side of your nose, straight through where your pupil is, and make a little dash right there, and that's gonna be where your arch is. So then, beside your nose, to the outer corner of your eye, and put a dash at the end of your eyebrow, and that's gonna be where you stop on the tail. So then you take your eyebrow pencil and you start at the first dash on the inside and make a straight line up to the, well, not straight, but make a line over to the middle dash. And it's going to be a little bit curved. And I have some little um, bald spots kind of in there that I fill in. But you want to go with your natural curve of your eyebrow but you want to meet those three dashes. So then you're going to make some strokes upward and diagonally and then to the side, just hair-like strokes to make it look more natural. And then after you do the hair-like strokes, you can see that I'll go to the top and make a line from there over to the middle line and then down to the last line. It's Sophie throwing her bottle everywhere. And then wherever I feel like I need to fill in any gaps, I'll fill that in. That's my, I'm actually showing you my bad eyebrow. My good one I already did. So then I take that, oh, that brow pencil was the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and that's $23. And then the brow concealer that I'm using is the LA Colors Pro Conceal um, foundation. Oh, I keep saying foundation. Um, concealer, and it has that little brush on it, so I just put some on my hand make the brush a little flat um, and then I do my lines to shape it up and clean it up and then that takes care of any little dashes and it puts my eyebrow in the exact shape that I want it to be So once I'm done with the concealer, I use a brush to blend it out to where it just looks more defined. And I like how there's a lighter shade around it to where it kind of makes it look more noticeable. Then I'm going with the ColourPop Truly Madly Deeply palette. And I'm going to start off with the shade Golden Gate Bridge. That's going to be my transition shade. Sophie wants her voice to be heard in this video. I switched to a fluffier brush because it's easier to blend out with a fluffier brush. The one that I had was a little more flat. Then we're going in with the shade Poodle. We're going to 
gonna brighten that up with that pink shade. And the eye look that I'm doing, um, I think it's called a halo, halo look. I don't know how to say it, but um, it's where you have the darker shades on the outer corner and inner corner, and then you put the lighter shade in the middle. Now I'm taking the color Pretty Cruel, and it's a, it's like a shimmery shade. It's, it looks like a matte shade, but it just has glitter in it, but you can't really tell. All right, another fluffy brush, and I'm going to darken it up a little bit with the color Made to Last, but I don't end up liking how dark it got. I think Sophie likes to drop her toys just to see me pick them back up. So, like I said, I didn't like how dark it got, so I, um, I lighten it back up with the shade Poodle again. So then, after that, uh, once I get it to the shade that I like, I take a flat packing brush and I use the NYX pigment primer, um, basically like a glitter glue. And, oh, I forgot to tell you this. The brow, I think I told you the brow pencil was $23. The brow concealer was $5. The eyeshadow pad it, palette, <laughs> pad it. Palette is $23 and the glitter glue is $6.50. And this shade that I'm putting on now is called Hungry Ghost and it is a iridescent glitter. Um, when you feel it, it like it's not like an eyeshadow, it's just like a pressed glitter. And I don't know what it is that's holding the glitter in the pan, but when you get it out, it looks or it feels like loose glitter. I don't know, it's weird, but I like it. Um so then I kind of, after I put the glitter on, I kind of um, blend out the edges to where it doesn't look like there's a straight line of glitter. And then I used the color Blossom on the bottom lash line. And then I went looking for something, not really sure what. So that's the look. And then I'm going to magically put it on the other eye right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm hilarious. So then I'm going to use... Um, Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. That's what I use all the time. It's my favorite, but again, that's, I get it at Ulta. That's where I buy it. And it is $25. I forgot to write it down, but it, it's um, $25, I think. And then these big bougie lashes that I never, I never wear lashes this big, but I wanted to do something different. Those lashes were $6 each. And this lip liner is the ColourPop lip liner in the color, let's see if I can find it, BFF, and it was $6 also. The lipstick, like I said, is L'Oreal because I forgot to buy a lipstick from Ulta, and it is $8 at Ulta. At Walmart, it's only like 6 or 7 And then I didn't show my face spray, but it I used it, and it's $12. Oh, yes, I did. Just kidding. <laughs> there it is. It's $12 for the big bottle. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching.